I'm Adele, an Education Advisor for Yorkshire Water and today we're going to do a lesson on the water cycle. Normally I would come out to schools or, or schools would come in to our education centres but today I'm going to talk to you from the garden. Okay, so let's think about water. Water is the most important substance on the earth. Every living thing needs water to keep it alive from the smallest little blade of grass to the biggest elephant and us in between. We all need water. Let's think about the water cycle. So we need an energy source to power the water cycle. Our energy source is the sun. So the sun shines down on where most of the water in the world is. Our world is covered with 70% water. Now 97% of that water is in the seas or oceans of the world. That only leaves 3% of the water that's fresh. And of that 3%, we only have 1% that's available for us to use. So thinking about the sun shining down on the sea, this water, we can all splash about in that, is then converted, it's a change of state, from a liquid into a gas. And this gas is called water vapour. And it rises on the heat of the sun and goes higher and higher up towards the sky. If you went up a mountain, it would be cold up there. And the name for this process is evaporation. So we've got some cards here. So this one is evaporation. So the water vapour changes state and rises up into the sky. As it gets higher and higher, colder and colder, it changes state again from a gas into a liquid and the name of this process is condensation. Again another card condensation. You might have heard of condensation in the bathroom when your mirror steams up. Along comes the wind and blows these little droplets together with the dust particles in the sky and forms clouds. Clouds get heavier and heavier, darker and darker and when the weather conditions are right it either starts to rain or if it's cold it could snow, it could be hail or there could be sleet. And the name for all of those processes is precipitation. Okay, so I'll call it rain but it can be any of those, rain, sleet, snow or hail. And this then can fall into streams, into rivers and rivers eventually go back to the sea and the whole process starts again. It keeps going round and round and round and that is the water cycle. It's been going on forever. We could be drinking the same water that the dinosaurs drank millions and millions of years ago. Let's remind ourselves of the name of the processes again. So we've got evaporation, condensation and precipitation. Thank you for listening to our water cycle. Please send us a diagram of this on social media. Thanks again.